What's up gamers? Hope you're doing well. My name's Kent and this is Corsby Gaming. So this video is going to be a guide for the trade sequence in Zelda Link's Awakening. These trades are required to progress in the game, so with that said, let's get to trading. Alrighty, so to get this trade sequence started, we gotta get our first item, which is going to be in the crane game. So, first item is gonna be the Yoshi doll. Obviously, we're not trading for it, we are just gonna win it from the crane game, and that will get this sequence started for us. And you can start this really early on. Um, as soon as you get the sword, you can go right to the, the shop and win this item. Alrighty, so the first trade is going to be in the village as well. You'll go into the house with the two front doors and trade it to the mom, whose name is Mama Sha. Kind of weird, but whatever. And we're going to trade her the Yoshi doll for the ribbon. Alright, so we're going to leave the house and go do the next trade, which is just going to be south and west over here in the village into the smaller part of this house here so we'll go in and we'll talk to chow chow the chomp chomp and trade the ribbon for some dog food the next trade is going to be down on the beach nearby where you got the sword we're going to head into the hut down there and talk to the alligator and we're gonna give him that dog food in exchange for some bananas. And he is absolutely thrilled for that dog food and eats the whole can. That can't be good for you, but then again, he is a blue alligator, so yeah. <laughs> but we got the bananas, so that's what matters. This next trade is a really important one. We're gonna trade the bananas for a stick, but in the process, these monkeys are gonna build a bridge, and that bridge will allow you to cross over into the castle and progress in the game. And it's also worth noting that all the trades before this, you're able to do immediately at the beginning of the game. This trade, you're gonna have to progress a little bit and beat the first and second dungeons before you're able to do this one. So the monkeys build the bridge, and they leave a stick behind for you. This next trade is going to be the stick for some honey. And it's not so much a trade so much as Marin getting in some trouble again. And getting into mushrooms, getting into bees' nests. Man, this guy just cannot stay out of trouble. But gets chased off by the bees and takes the stick with him. But he leaves you behind the honey, which is the next item in the trade sequence. On to the next trade, which is in the Animal Village. You'll have to progress past the third dungeon to get to this point, and you'll go into the Chef's Hut, and you're gonna trade him the honey for some pineapple. The next trade is quite a distance away, up in the mountain range. We're gonna find uh, the father, Papal, up here, stuck and he's hungry so we give him the pineapple and he's going to trade us the hibiscus After that, we'll head back to the animal village, and it's in this house here. We'll run in, and we'll talk to the goat, and we'll give her the hibiscus, and it'll be a trade for this letter that she would like for us to deliver for her. Alright, so the next trade is going to be in this house that's west of Kaponga Swamp. We'll head in and deliver the letter to Mr. Wright. Now, this is a really funny part that I never got when I was younger, um, but the goat actually put a picture of Princess Peach in it and totally catfished this guy, which is sad, but he trades you the letter and gives you a broom. From there, we'll head back to Mabe Village, and we'll talk to the old lady and trade her the broom that you just got for a fishing hook that she found. Yeah. 
The next trade's gonna be in Martha's Bay, and we'll swim under this bridge here and find a guy fishing. So we'll give him the fishing hook, and he's gonna do a little fishing and give us the first item he gets. It's worth noting, obviously you have to be past the fourth dungeon and have the flippers to swim to be able to get to this trade spot. So there we go, get the necklace. The next trade is really close by, it's in Martha's Bay as well. We'll just swim over, talk to the mermaid, and give her her necklace back in exchange for a scale. And this is actually the last trade that will be done. So this is the final part in this sequence. After you've beat the fifth dungeon out of the hook shot, you can get over to this statue. You place the scale in it and it will move to reveal some stairs going down. So we'll enter in and head up to claim our prize, which is going to be the magnifying lens. Now this magnifying lens is required to get through the windfish egg at the very end of the game. Alrighty, so that is going to complete the trade sequence and wrap up this video. I hope it was helpful for you and that you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I hope you all had a great day. I'll catch you next time.